Welcome back everyone, let's go ahead and talk about the Apple Watch Series 3 and see how it holds up in 2021. Now what I can tell you is first of all, with Apple Watches like these, having an Apple Watch is so important that even if it's the first Apple Watch that ever came out, I would still kind of recommend it. I mean, with me personally, I was using that first Apple Watch Series 0 for a very long time, up until like two years, or even like a year and a half ago, and I had a really good time with it. And as long as you don't expect anything super crazy from your Apple Watch, like you don't expect it to fully replace an iPhone, then you can use any Apple Watch and have probably a really good experience with it. Now with these Apple Watches, including the Apple Watch Series 3, as long as your Apple Watch is supported, you're in a really good position. The Apple Watch Series 3 luckily is still supported, but on top of that, even if you don't get it supported, even if you get it and it just so happens that it stops being supported or whatever, I was rocking my Apple Watch Series 0 for like two years after it was fully, you know, stopped getting support and I didn't really notice anything super crazy with it. And those are typically my main problems whenever I have a device. So the Series 3 in that sense is actually a pretty decent thing. If it's between, you know, having an Apple Watch Series 3 or not having an Apple Watch at all, I would highly recommend picking up an Apple Watch Series 3. Now I will find the cheapest ones of these, probably like a Series 4 and Series 5. On Amazon, I'll find the cheapest ones. I'll link them down below. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off with the front, there were two different models of it, the 38mm and then the 48mm models. And and I always rocked that 42 one. I liked it a lot. It was a pretty big size. It wasn't really like a crazy behemoth of a device, but I really did, you know, use it a lot and I actually did enjoy it. And funny enough, I just filmed a video of this watch on my second channel as well today when I'm recording this audio. And what I can tell you is for sure, the panel doesn't really seem that outdated. There really is, isn't anything that I look at, you know, my Apple Watch Series 3 of that I'm like, wow, I did wish, you know, it had this feature from my Apple Watch Series 6 or my Apple Watch SE. There really isn't anything super crazy about, you know, those watches that I don't already have on my Apple Watch Series 3. Now, you do have the crown on the right side. You have that side button as well, the power button. You have the charging, you know, capability on the back. And obviously, you can take out the bands, put them back on. And it's a really seamless experience. I mean, pretty much what everyone already knows about this watch, you already have those type of capabilities, which is really awesome. Now, funny enough, this Apple Watch was actually the first Apple Watch to get technically cellular support. And as I stated before, that was a pretty cool thing. I always thought to myself when this Apple Watch first came out that it was kind of a weird thing. It was a, you know, strange thing to add onto an Apple Watch like this, but it really grew on me. And I think it was a very smart decision from Apple to do. All their Apple Watch since then have pretty much had that capability. And I think that's a really cool thing. I think there will be a time where we do a lot of, you know, things on our watch versus our iPhone or something. I don't think that time anytime soon but that's still a pretty cool capability at the end of the day like i stated so that in and of itself like i said is a pretty cool thing too but it isn't necessarily perfect and it you know this, this watch isn't really you know the best watch in the world i think one pretty big downside of this specific apple watch is probably the software and it's funny because that's its strong suit too but this apple watch is coming down to the end of its life cycle and if there was one reason why i would probably sway you away from picking up an apple watch series 3 it's because this thing is about to get done getting software support. Now, if you remember early on in this video, I mentioned that, you know, with Apple Watch, it's a little bit different than iPhones. You can still use an Apple Watch, you know, on like a two-year-old version of software and really not feel like you're missing out on anything super crazy. But as my job as a reviewer, I mean, I have to let you guys know of all the pitfalls, all the problems. And it's not necessarily that that's a problem with this device. It's more so of an annoyance. When you get an Apple Watch like this in this day and age, you're going to be coming to a point where it's it's just not going to get the next version of watchOS. It may not get watchOS 8. I'm not too sure. I just already updated my watchOS to the latest beta, which is watchOS 7.4, and it handles it like a champ. And that's why it's so sad because these watches, a lot of devices out there, including Androids, they can still, the hardware is great, and they can still maintain more software updates, but sometimes the developers just don't want to keep developing things for it, you know, including the software. So when you get this watch, even if you get it today, if you get it a month from now, whatever, even if you got it like six months, months ago, you're going to come to a point probably come this June where this watch is not going to be getting the next version of software. The Apple Watch Series 2 just got done getting software support and next in line is the, you know, Apple Watch Series 3. Now, I don't think it's necessarily, it's like 50-50. It may get it, it may not get watchOS 8. If I had to say it, I would probably err to the side of it not getting watchOS 8 and to play it safe, that is probably the number one reason why I would probably avoid picking up an Apple Watch Series 3. But other than that, almost every single thing 
about this Apple Watch is predictable, but the software is one of those variables that I would probably tell you, you know, all those features that we're going to get with Watch OS 8, there may be some really cool features that you may want that your device may not be supported with. But other than that, other than the software, this Apple Watch really nails it and is a very good Apple Watch, especially for somebody who wants to enter the Apple Watch market. I, you know, with the Apple Watch Series 6 and the Apple Watch SE that came out, I did a full comparison between those watches and the Apple Watch Series 3. And I found that at the end of the day, yes, the Apple Watch Series 3 is a slower watch. You know, it definitely doesn't have all the cool features that the newer watches have. But I think at the end of the day, this Apple Watch still maintains a level of just, you know, capability for sure. And I think if you were to get an Apple Watch like this, you were going to be in a pretty good position. It's not necessarily going to be perfect, but the software but the feature set it currently has is pretty good. The capability behind what you're going to use this watch of is just going to get you more insight. And I always found that the steps I got from this watch were accurate. The battery life was okay, and it's definitely not something I would brag about. It would easily get me through a day, but by the end of that day, I was probably running at like 20%. I never got to a point where I was like, oh my God, my battery's about to run out. Very rarely, if I was like working out or if I was running and my Apple Watch had to keep up, then maybe it would be at like 10% when I was done with the day. But I was typically ending the day with like 20 to 30% when I was using it. And I only used it for like not even a month. I switched from my Apple Watch Series 2 to my Series 3 for like a month. Then I switched over to my Series 4. And within that month, I noticed not a crazy big difference from my Series 2, to be honest. But I would not recommend going back to a Series 2 just because of the software thing that I mentioned. But I would definitely tell you when it comes down to the whole entire just performance aspect of this device, I think I had a really good time with it for sure. Now, there really isn't anything else that I can go ahead and complain about this specific device. The display looks pretty much the same as all my other Apple Watches. The band capability, I mean, you can pick up any Apple Watch band, it'll fit on this thing. The performance is pretty predictable. You know, it's not going to be the fastest thing anymore, but it still handles its own. And I think at the end of the day, it handles everything that I threw at it perfectly fine. I, I think because I paid like around $100 for this thing, I kind of knew what I was getting. I wasn't expecting this thing to be like an Apple Watch Series 6 competitor, but I was actually overall pretty happy about it. And I think at the end of the day, the Apple Watch Series 3, the whole entire experience with it, how it holds up in 2021, I think this Apple Watch is, you know, completely worth it in 2021 for the right people. If you're wanting to get an Apple Watch and you don't really care about all the features and all that stuff, you just want something that's going to track your steps. You want something that can go ahead and, you know, locate your workouts. And, you know, you want to do some other kind of minor things from your Apple Watch. If you want cell connection, you can go and set it up with this Apple Watch. Those are the type of people that I would recommend with this type of watch people who don't really expect a crazy amount from their watches but what I will tell you though is that this watch you know isn't going to last forever no watch is and there's going to be a point extremely soon where we may not even get the next version of software we really don't know as of this point but it is something to keep in mind so like I said before it's not going to be a perfect experience with any watch but if I had to go from you know an Apple Watch Series 3 to any other Apple Watch and if I had to upgrade for like one reason it would be because of the software Software. The Apple Watch Series 3 isn't guaranteed Watch OS 8. We really don't know. The Watch Series 4 is probably going to get it, but this one may not. So at the end of the day, that's a pretty big thing to keep in mind. And I think for sure the Apple Watch Series 3 is still worth it for pretty much anyone. If you currently don't even own an Apple Watch and you want to get into like the Apple Watch segment and you want to kind of, you know, just understand the process, the Apple Watch Series 3 is a really good entry point. Like you can get a lot of capability from this specific watch. But if you have the extra money, I would recommend going up to an Apple Watch SC or an Apple Watch Series 5 you are going to be getting a much better experience from those watches, especially a much longer longevity from those devices than the Apple Watch Series 3 at the end of the day. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. If you guys want to pick up these watches, like I stated, links will be down in the description. You can pick them up from there and help support the channel at the same time. If you guys have any other questions as well, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.